Okay, I got the cork reamed out. This is step two, or part two of the video. I'm actually going to apply um, the foregrip, the rear grip, the uh, arbor, and the rail seat to the blank itself. So as you can see, I got all my cork reamed out. Um, and then what I do now is I'm just going to dry fit just to make sure everything's square, everything has a nice fit. And as you can see down here, I added some uh, scotch tape because I reamed out it just a little too much and what you want to have is a nice strong you don't want any play like there is now in the blank and the, um, any of the real seat foregrip anything like that you don't want any play so that's a nice fit there's no play that's good there we're gonna check the arbor we're gonna run the arbor on make sure everything's good there run that down And there's a little bit of play. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some scotch tape and build that up a little bit so there isn't as much play. So there's a nice strong seat against the blank in the, in the arbor. I'm just going to add some scotch tape in a couple different areas. And some guys actually build arbors out of their scotch tape. They'll just pack this up, build it up, and that'll be their arbor. But I actually, for another dollar, it's worth just to buy the graphite for your arbor. Instead of having to build up scotch tape the entire length of your rail seat. So we'll just try that and we'll leave a little bit. We want to go the whole ways to the rear grip because epoxy will actually sit and make a nice bond in that area. So we'll run it again. There. There's a nice fit. No play, nice and tight. That's good. So that's on. Let's make sure we're flush at the bottom. So we have a nice idea how everything's going to sit. Like that. Check our foregrip run that on and that's pretty good too it's not super tight but there's no play in it so we might just well just to be safe I'm gonna put just a small amount of scotch tape at the very tip of this real arbor just to be safe and this epoxy will expand, so it's not really that critical to do this, but I just need to do it because I like a nice fit. Run that on. There, that's better. So that's kind of the gist. And the arbor will go in the real seat, so you'll have, you know, something like that. So what I'll show you now, I'll take all these components off because we know they fit nice. We got our spacing where we need it. On the blank. run all this off okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue the arbor into the real seat just like that so what I like to do push this out is this is a two-part broad bond epoxy you got your A and you got your B you just make equal parts of each and since we're only doing the real seat in the arbor, we're just going to get a little bit out of here. Put some on a piece of paper and make sure you get you keep your um, parts, part A and part B, with the uh, popsicle sticks that you use. These are just regular popsicle sticks. Just take about equal parts of each. And I use this, I might need a little more. I use just old magazines because you can spread your epoxy on here and then when you're done you just tear the page off and you just throw it away so we'll go ahead mix this up with another popsicle stick one that we haven't used a nice clean one and then what we're going to do is we're going to after this is done mixing 
after we mix it really good. We're going to spread it out and we're going to apply it to the arbor and then we'll paste it to the rear to the real seat. Make sure it's all nice and good. You want this mixed well. And there we are. That's good. So what I do is I just take the arbor, run it on this uh, flat hat screwdriver, and I just run it through, roll it over like a rolling pin over the epoxy. Get it on as best as you can. Make sure you cover a large majority, if not all, of the arbor. Like so. Okay. Now, all I'm going to do, and like I said before, this is a forward locking, so the threads run this way. I'm just going to insert the arbor and as you can see I taped the threads you're gonna get overflow of the epoxy that's just the given when you put this on so, and you last thing you want to have it on is your threads because cleanup can be a mess and it can actually cause a problem whenever you're trying to um, use the rail seat to forward lock to tight or to lock down the uh, rail so it's best to put epoxy or tape over the threads just and it helps with the mess, the cleanup. So you can just push that in, get it flush, and then I take it just a little about not even a sixteenth just to get it seated. Got a little bit of excess, just clean that off. And there you are. Now your arbor is glued to your rail seat or will be glued. So that's done. We'll just let that sit there for a little bit. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place our rear grip onto the blank. And same process. I'm actually not going to use this page again because it has extra box in. Go ahead and rip that off. Throw it to the side. Grab a new sheet. Now this you're going to lean a little bit more because we're actually going to do a majority of the blank. This is going to bond the rail seat. Um, it's going to bond the fore and rear grip. So we're going to take a little bit more than we did for that rail seat. It's better to have a lot more than not enough because when you're mixing and when you're applying all your stuff. Last thing you want to do is have to mix more epoxy. So we'll just go ahead and mix this up again. Get as best as we can. And as I said earlier, I build up the blank to allow for a nice, tight, strong fit of all the real seats of the rear and fore grip. Almost there. So what we're going to do now is those marks that we made on the last video after when we were dry fitting all the parts, they're going to come into play because we're going to know how far we know from here down is the rear grip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this epoxy, start at that area, and just bring it down to coat the blank. And this type of um, epoxy, as I said earlier, actually expands. 
so you don't have to put a whole lot because you will get some seepage when it's drying but it's nice to have a lot whatever you feel comfortable with that's how much you want to put on okay so that's all soaked up it's all applied and we're going to take our rear grip run it from the top down get it on here I'll try to do this and I like to twist as I I'm putting these components on because it evens the glue out a lot better the epoxy As you can see the run over we're going to use that okay we're going to use this excess just to clean it up a little bit we're going to take some off and apply it to where our butt cap will go on A little more. Spread it even across. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit will do ya. I took a little bit too much there. I'll just put it back on the paper. And sitting in the back here, this is denatured alcohol. And what it does, if you have any run over, it cleans it up nice and easy. It cleans it up so that if you would get any on the cork, this will actually leave a dark mark if you let it dry. So what this denatured alcohol does is just kind of clean that up a lot. So you don't have those marks. So there's our butt end cap. I'm going to twist it. As I apply it, and I know I'm going to have some run over, so I just get as much, get as close as I can to fit. Let's take some of that excess off. And then you want to make sure you have a nice fit. Go ahead and just push down on each, the blank and the, see a little more came out. A little more epoxy. Let's go ahead and get all that. Okay. Go run and get some paper towels. Okay, I got some paper towels. That's one thing I did forget. And I just use a regular paintbrush, as you can see. The, there's a little bit of, you can see where the epoxy is, how it leaves a brown mark. Once it's denatured alcohol, let's dip it in there, run it along. It'll eat away at that epoxy. And I can just brush it off, or um, wipe it off with the paper towel. Wipe it off, and that'll go away. Okay, so next thing we're going to do, we know our mark for our arbor, so we're going to get some more epoxy. I'm just going to apply it the same thing we did with the rear grip. So, and this will push out, so you will be a little bit less generous at the head of the, uh, the top of the rear grip because epoxy it will push out, and you don't want a lot to get on your rear grip. So there we go. Now this critical, we marked our spine earlier, 
So as I thread this on, I want to line how the reel how the reel is going to sit, which is right here. I want to mark it with my spine. That comes into play. That's why we found the spine to begin with, because it's going to allow for that good action, that good feel, whenever this is reel seat is properly aligned with the spine. As you can see, the arbor start pushing out there a little bit. We'll go ahead and push that on. So we know you have a tight fit. See how that's it's, it's pushing out. We'll just get cut that, get that before it causes the gets epoxy everywhere. Just take a little bit off. There. Push it a little bit on. A little bit more. reason that arbor's getting stuck on that tape, but that's alright. We'll just push it on. There. So what we're gonna do now, we got the rail seat, we got the bottom where the um, rod's gonna sit, we got it lined up with the spine. That's what we wanted. And now we're just gonna take this last bit of epoxy. And we're going to put it on. Here's our line we marked for our foregrip. We're just going to go ahead and spread that on from there down. Just a little bit like that. Take some of the excess off. Spread this epoxy out as evenly as we can. We got it. Twist it as we put it on, just so we make sure the epoxy spreads it evenly. It'll suck up. And there we are. Check our spine again, make sure everything's all lined up still. Come a little bit. There, and there we are, and that's all there is to it. Next, I'll be, I'll let this sit for a good 16 hours, let it sit overnight at least, before I want to touch it again or do anything else with the blank. I'll stand it up, stand it upright, and I'll actually put rubber bands to compress it so it's nice and tight. So the next video is going to be, I'll show you how I do decorative wraps and how I place the guides.